So in this video, we're going to run through really quickly how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, sum, average, max, min, and count all in Google Sheets. These are just basic functions that you should know how to do. So first of all, to add, if we want to add something, it's really simple. You just press equals and then the numbers you want to add. So let's say 2 plus 4. It's going to preview the answer here. When you hit enter, it returns the result. You can add in more, more numbers like that, and it's just going to add them all up. Now, if you also have, let's say, a bunch of numbers somewhere else in the spreadsheet like this, what we can do is we can reference those numbers. So you can press equals that one plus that one, and it's going to return the answer. You can also, again, do multiple if you want all the way down. But we'll see in a second that using sum is going to be a better solution for that than trying to add up a whole bunch of stuff individually. All right, so the next thing to do is subtract. And again, it's pretty similar. We just put in the numbers. Let's say we have four minus two. It's going to preview the answer and give us that. Again, you can do multiple. So if you put in a bunch, it's just gonna work. Um, returns negative numbers just fine. And you can also reference other cells. So for example, that one minus that one minus that one. Okay, you can also mix and match too. You can change one of these to a plus and that also works as well. Multiply uh, works pretty much the same way. So we can just put in two numbers, let's say two times five. You use a little asterisk sign to multiply and it's going to preview and give us the answer. You can multiply it by two again and it gives you the result. We can also reference other cells like this, that times that times that, for example, and it's gonna give us back a really big number. Now for dividing, also it's exactly the same. You can put in a number here, let's say 10 divided by two. It's going to preview five and give us the answer five. If you, for some reason, get different amounts of decimal places here, you can just change that with these ones, increase and decrease. So we can add and decrease, and it's gonna to try to group them all to the same amount. Okay, uh, we can also delete that and then reference other cells. So let's take this one divided by that one. Now that gives us a really small number, so let's check to see, there you go. Uh, it was rounding to zero, but definitely isn't exactly equal to zero, so watch out for that too. If you do try to mix expressions, let's say we have equals um, five times two plus one. That's going to give us 11. And this is following bed mass rules. If you remember from math, bed mass like that, this stands for the order of operations. So it's brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and then subtraction. So if you change, so basically it's the equivalent of having brackets like this. But if you move where those brackets are, see so it even just deleted the brackets because it was uh, redundant. But if you put the brackets like this, that's going to give us a different number than when the brackets were in a different position or it's just naturally following bed mass. All right, so the next thing that we should look at is sum. And this one is a little bit different. So you write equals sum and you open the bracket and then you can put in the numbers that you want comma separated. So we could say like two, three, one. And it's going to preview us. So the sum of two plus three is five, plus one is six. So that checks out and that makes sense. But what you can do is you can also do equals sum, open the bracket, and then you can select a bunch of cells like this. Okay. And when you hit close the bracket and hit enter, it returns the entire sum. Now that's a lot faster than trying to add up you know, all of these individually like this. Bam, 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 bam. So don't do stuff like that, but you see it does give you the same number. Um, if you also have something like this and you've decided for some reason you didn't want that, that range, what you can do is you can come back in, you can reselect a different range, hit enter. Or what you can do is you can edit it um, if you like where it starts, but not where it ends. Like for example, it's ending at cell A8 right now, but you wanted it to end at A7. You can just come in here and change the number like that, and you're good to go. You can also sum like uh, across more than one row. So if you had an array like this, you could take your sum and do that, and that works too. Ignore that. Okay, so let's get rid of these and set this back to sum of this whole thing. Cool. Okay, we can also take the average of values. So for average, you just write equals average, and then you can put in your numbers. So let's say three, six, and eight. When you close the bracket, it returns 5.67, which is the average of those three numbers. And just like sum, what we can do is we can select a range to, uh, to take the average of as well. Okay, and if we don't like that, we can change this to 
the full you know the full set or whatever set we're looking for um, max is another good function that works to pretty much the same way so you write equals max and if you put in one four and eight it's going to give us back the biggest number in this case which is eight or what you can do is you can select from a whole range from one column or multiple columns or one row and it's going to find the biggest number in there and just spit it out for us min works exactly the same way so for minimum minimum this was maximum you just write equals min and you put in your comma separated numbers like this and it's going to return you the smallest one in the range or what you can do is select just like the other functions like that and it's going to give us the smallest number that it finds which is 17. Um, count is another useful feature as well so you can type count and put in a couple numbers like that and it's if you put in three it's going to return three if you put in four it's going to return four and if you select a range like this or an array it's going to give you back exactly how many you have selected and you can combine all of these if you want so there's another way that we could find the average the hard way or maybe not the hard way but like not the smart way um, you could take the sum of all of these like that and then you can divide it by the count so divided by count of that same range like this and that's going to return us this same value maybe let's get rid of some of those decimal places and you can see here average the hard way when we use this function the sum divided by the count is the same as the average when we just use the average function so anyways that's a real quick introduction to a whole bunch of very useful functions in google sheets and yeah i'll see you in the next google sheets tutorial